Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teagan, Raleigh, North Carolina, your complete Toyota resource. Today we're going to look at the newest member of the 4Runner lineup for 2022 and we're going to compare it to something that a lot of people are going to draw natural comparisons to, TRD Sport against the Limited. Today we've got a four-wheel drive TRD Sport classic silver metallic hood scoop and then we're going to compare it to a four-wheel drive Limited. This is in midnight black metallic, no hood scoop. Let's start figuring out differences. We're gonna jump right in here, right? This one here is full-time four-wheel drive. So you'll see the shift knob. It'll switch between four-wheel drive, high and low. This one here is a part-time four-wheel drive. So it'll have two-wheel drive, then four high and four low. You'll of course see that it's got color keyed front bumper with a little chrome mixed in here on the TRD Sport. On the Limited, it's going to be more chrome accents because it's luxury. Now let's talk about why you might want to pick one over the other. Number one is going to be the pricing. There is almost $7,000 difference factory MSRP between a four-wheel drive Limited and a four-wheel drive TRD Sport. This one starts at about $42,000, $42,000-ish. $42 this one here is going to be closer to $48,900. So that's going to put it almost, let's call it $49,000, so $42,000 to $49,000 do my Howard Stern math, we're gonna call it $7,000 difference, $6,800, $6,900, but either way, that's certainly incentive to choose the lower priced one, as long as you like the features and you don't feel like you're sacrificing too much. Let's find out what we're sacrificing. This is the Limited with the beige interior. I always say it has lots of leg room, really good headroom as well, fits three across, has the netting. They both are gonna have the rear air vents and the two USB ports. That was standard starting in 2020 on all models. But you can see as you look along the door, you see the markings for memory seats. It'll have an upgraded sound system, JBL sound system, so it has 15 speakers. Also, if you look underneath those speakers, two spots, it's gonna have heated and cooled seats along with the wood grain trim. Okay, so we'll look in the door. The thing I want to point out is, on Limited, you get choice of interior color. You can choose lighter, you can choose darker. One choice with the Sport. Now in the TRD Sport, it's going to have black soft tech seating, as opposed to the leather seating that you find in Limited. You can see TRD headrests. It has gray accent stitching, like a light gray accent stitching to break things up. Remember, we're losing the wood grain trim, we're going to show you what we're losing also. The sound system will be different. So we're walking in here. And then just look around here. We're not going to see, we're still going to see an 8 inch screen. We got that. We're not going to have heated cooled seats. We're not going to have the JBL sound system, the wood grain trim. All right, let's do more. Now the wheels, they're both going to be 20 inch wheels, 20 inch two-tone alloy wheels, and you're going to see a dark gray accent inside and on the caps on the TRD Sport. You're going to see the gloss black on the Limited. So which one do you prefer? Dark gray, gloss black. I like the dark gray myself. Write down in the comment section which one you like. Here's the TRD Sport wheel, and here's the Limited wheel. And if you see the tires, they're certainly not what I would call an off-roading tire at all. Yes, that's right. These are known as more on-road performance vehicles. They're not going to be known for hitting the trails like a TRD off-road, a TRD off-road premium, a TRD Pro, baby. No, these are going to be known for being very smooth, very comfortable on country roads, on city streets, cruising on the highway. Baby, let's cruise away from here. All right, they have X-REAS suspension, cross-linked relative absorber system. That's a mouthful. Basically, each of the corners are cross-linked for suspension and it limits the damping on it. So what, me what that means is that you're gonna not feel potholes and bumps and grooves in the road quite as much. It'll be more smooth, it evens things out. Perfect for on-road. 
Both of these vehicles have TSSP, Toyota Safety Sense Pedestrian. That means it has pre-collision system that detects people during the daytime. It has dynamic radar cruise control. It's got automatic high beams and it's got lane departure alert. Right? Since both these vehicles are four wheel drives, they have a 9.6 inch ground clearance. If they were two wheel drive, it'd be nine inch ground clearance. You might see a camera here. I see it. It's squared off here. So that's panoramic view monitor. If it was more cone shaped and stuck out a little bit more, that would be the multi-terrain monitor. The panoramic view monitor allows you to see from inside above you. It allows you to see along the sides of, in front of, and behind. The multi-terrain monitor allows you to see a little bit more downward and out so you can see more of what's on the trail and coming up underneath your vehicle. So that's sort of the distinction there. This is standard on the limited. Panoramic view monitor is standard on the limited. This one has a technology package so it adds in blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert, and I'm not sure. It's about a $1,400 package. I believe that it also includes the camera system for panoramic view. I'm pretty sure that's not standard on the Sport. We're gonna walk around the vehicles now. They both have a 5,000 pound towing capacity. I think it's interesting, on the Sport, it's got chrome. So it's color keyed here with chrome Forerunner and the Toyota badge. Watch when we get to the Limited. It's kinda of, kind of kooky, actually. So you see in gray, TRD Sport, badging. We don't need no stinking badges. It has the black roof rails. See the black running boards underneath? It has turn signal indicators in the side mirrors. And of course, color keyed front end. We focused on that, the hood scoop. Now we're going over to our friend, the Limited here. Chrome, it's got parking sensors. So you can be alerted what's in front of you, what's behind you. And remember for 2022, this has, and this has, and all forerunners have LED high beams, LED low beams, LED fog lights. It's all there, baby. Has turn signal indicators. You can see it has more of a silverish metallic roof rack. See my rails? It's got chrome accents, chrome door handles. Let's go a little bit longer, limited in chrome, and then Remember how the TRD Sport was more chrome Forerunner badging? Look at this one. It matches the roof rails because it's got the chrome here. So it's just kind of an interesting choice, I think. And it's got the parking sensors and a 5,000 pound tow capacity as well. The TRD Sport is going to have, I believe, two options for the cargo area. It could be empty like this one. This is a nice all-weather mat here. I think this is a great accessory for wet items, dirty items, like mulch and flowers at Lowe's or Home Depot or sports equipment, that kind of stuff. It has a grounded 120-volt, 400-watt outlet along with the 12-volt circular port here. It's got some tie-downs and storage, but you can get, I believe, the sliding cargo deck or empty. On the Limited, that's different. The Limited, you can also get the option for third row seating. This is empty, of course, but you could get sliding deck. You could get third row seats if you got more passengers. It's up to you. The Limited here folds down flat. You can see the seats fold forward here like that, making a nice area without ability to drop big things in. It's got a little bit of an incline. No, a little bit of a whoa slide. So slide, so slide. So slide. TRD Sport has the same setup here with the seats fold forward. This is flat, a little bit of a, this is more of a little hill. <laughs> Let's go into the instrumentation in the TRD Sport since it costs less. You can see the gray accents. Soft materials here, which I like. That implies quality, right? It does not have a power passenger seat, okay? So that might be one reason to choose the Limited, if that's important to you. But see, it's got that really soft, soft text. Maybe that's why they don't call it hard text, right? Anyway, it's got TRD right in the headrest. This 
has storage, also 12 volt circular port. It has the rear sliding vertical window. And then see here, it has two wheel, four low, four high. And then this one, TRD, it's kind of funny actually because the TRD shifter has red stitching on it. Did that just blow your mind? And then here you can see USB port, 12 volt circular port, a little bit of storage there, nice chunky knobs. I hope when they redesign it, they still keep those. People like that. Eight inch screen. You can see it does not have JBL ability, but it does have Sirius XM, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa in the house, leather wrapped steering wheel, a nice 4.2 inch multi information display behind the steering wheel does not have memory seats it does have a power driver seat though see that button on the left that's for the pano camera and then up top we've got led lights on this particular one i think it has the led light upgrade and then it has home link for garage door openers active traction control traction control on and off downhill assist control safety connect sunglass holder it's got your handles here and forerunner doesn't have great visibility there's nice big squared off windows here it eliminates a lot of blind spots but this one does have blind spot monitor shows up orange colored so you can see when somebody's coming up from behind you driver's side passenger side also rear cross traffic alert it beeps at you and gives you a warning when there's a car coming from behind or along the sides as you're backing up and the limited this is beige with the tan stitching or beige stitching I never learned the difference between beige and tan then it's got a power passenger seat wood grain trim that dark wood grain it's cool Leather is very comfortable. Although I gotta be honest, I feel like the soft tex is actually softer. That feels good. Remember these are perforated seats so they have heated and cooled seats. Moonroof, standard. So you're giving that up, standard on the TRD Sport. Has storage, it'll have the same visibility, the same rear window, see? full-time four-wheel drive but it's got heated and cooled seats you can see right there JBL speakers 15 of those suckers crystal clear sound you may be a fan you may be a fan remember the limited has memory seats power driver seat power passenger seat leather wrap steering wheel here's the button for panoramic view camera this has a little bit of metallic chrome on it for 22. So did the TRD Sport. All right, so what do you guys think? Which interior do you like better? And a follow-up is, does the interior persuade you to spend more money on the Limited? Let's look at both of these window stickers together so we can do a little comparing and contrasting. 4x4 TRD Sport 2022 made in Japan. Let's look at the price. 420. Forerunner Limited 4x4 Japan. 48.9. So for math purposes, let's call it 49 versus 42. Under $7,000, but real close to it between the two. TRD Sport, here's the safety ratings. Here's the fuel mileage. I find it interesting that this one here, four by four, but it's part-time versus the other one full-time, still the same gas mileage. So that's just interesting to me. Here we go, it's got that 4.0 liter V6 engine, 270 horsepower, 278 foot-pounds of torque, five-speed automatic transmission. Here you can see the X-REAS Sport Enhancement Suspension.
See what's unique about this one because it's TRD Sport. Okay, 42.0 minus the Keep It Wild savings. Technology package, I said 1400, let's call it 1310. Get it delivered to the dealership and every vehicle all across the United States, probably all across the world is gonna have some form of option or no options on it. This one adds in the nightshade running board, skid plate, LED upgrade, Toyota Guard Platinum. It's got a lot, black exhaust tip, cargo mat. It's a lot going on in this one. So this will be 46.5 with the options. And the limited here. So see the pricing closes up a little bit when you have a technology package for $1,310 on top of the lower price one to give you what's already in the limited. So keep that in mind as well. See, this one right here says panoramic view monitor standard under safety and convenience. So that's what makes me think that the panoramic view camera is part of the technology package. All right, so same performance other than the full-time versus part-time. Love that sound system in here. Keep it wild savings is more because it costs more. Deliver it 49.1. And then we've got some options on here. Toyo Guard Platinum, the running boards, the lighting system, crossbars, ball mount and trailer ball, cable charging package. That puts it at 51.2. I'm in the TRD Sport right now. I could easily be in the Limited, but I'm gonna show you the panoramic view monitor and how this can benefit you. So this looks like bird's eye view. We're gonna push that a couple times in park, in drive, and in reverse. This is park. So you can see overhead in front of you, along the sides of it. And you can see that there's an obstruction there, right? See those sweet wheels on the limited. And then we could go back again. I'm gonna put it next into drive. So here we go. I'm going to push the button. Okay. So I can see the sides. I can see in front of. And look at that. You can see in front of you up to about six or seven miles an hour and then it goes off. So let's put it into reverse now. Here we go. All right, so it shows behind us. And then if I wanna change the grid lines, I can do that. Can change it to just one view or a full view. That's cool, right? All right, so which one do you choose? Do you choose the Limited? Do you choose TRD Sport? Is there one that you like over the other and you just want to get that one? Or does money come into play? Does that almost $7,000 difference in factory MSRP, of course it tightens up to a little bit over 5,500 when you factor in the technology package. Does that make a difference and swing you one way or the other? Any features you liked on TRD Sport, on Limited? Let's hear what you have to say. I've got two channels, Toyota Jeff, and Auto Jeff. Auto Jeff Reviews looks at all brands, including Toyota sometimes, but all brands, because there's a lot of cool stuff out there and we want to see it. So please go to Auto Jeff Reviews, hit subscribe, trying to get to 2000 by the end of the month if I can. That would be awesome. So thank you guys so much. You'll see me on Instagram. Right now I'm pushing a lot of pictures through and videos on the new 2022 Tundra. I was fortunate enough to be there for the big reveal. I got to be down and dirty, up close and personal with a lot of different trims and a lot of different colors and a lot of different technology and features. So check out my 13 part series on the new Tundra. It's on Toyota Jeff, go to Toyota Jeff and then click playlist and you'll see 2022 Tundra series. Check them out, I think you'll like it. All right everybody, thanks so much. See you next time, peace.